Hello, welcome to Texture Mill. In this session, we will see the process of downloading the data from IBMI system to our Excel sheet. Okay, so for this uh, example, I have created one physical file. And firstly, I will show you the data that we have uh, stored in our physical file. So for that, I will use the command str SQL. Then I will uh, run the query select star from in my physical file name that is emppf so here we can see that uh, this emppf physical file have uh, have the five records that is employee id and employee name okay so now what we will do we will download this five record into our excel sheet so for that i'm coming out uh, back from this screen and now what I, uh, what we need to do is we have to just click on this download button that is present on the access line solution. So once you hover on that uh, button, it will show the data transfer from IBMI. So what we are doing here, we are downloading the data from IBMI. IBMI. So just click on that. Once you click on that button, it will show you this screen where we have specified the system name as POP400 because this is the server that I'm using for the development. And after that, we have to specify the file name here. So to specify the file name, firstly, we have to put the library name that is Shermit1. You can put your library name here, then slash and then physical file name so the file i'm using to download uh, for this scenario is emp pf okay so in uh, in this way we can directly download uh, the data of emp pf file that resides in shermitman library uh, and we have other alternative option for uh, the for selecting the physical file is browse so you can also click on this browse button and then you have to specify your user id and password again so i'm uh, giving my user id and password so once you input your user id and password just click on ok then it will show you the entire system so these are the available files and members in my library so from here we can also select our physical files so as per your need, you can select your, any particular member or physical firm from here. But for now, we, we are directly specifying the library name and physical file name. OK, after that, you can uh, you can also take this option that is data options. And here we can uh, what uh, we can specify the particular query if we want to fetch the data for a particular uh, reason or for a particular scenario, then we can create the query as well. So here we can use the group by uh, we can specify the field name. So for now, what we are uh, going to fetch, we are uh, we will be downloading the employee ID that is EMP ID and EMP name. So these are the field name of my physical file. And if I uh, need a particular condition, conditional data, then I can put in the where clause. I can use having clause order by. So for now, we are uh, directly downloading the simple data, the entire data from this physical file. So just click on OK. And after that, we have to select the output device. So for output device, you can click here and then just select active Excel spreadsheet. You can also select the display file, display or the file or the active calculation, uh, calc spreadsheet but for now we are selecting the active excel spreadsheet so now we will see what is active excel spreadsheet so it is nothing uh, but just uh, just a open uh, excel sheet in our system so just open uh, any file in which you want to store the data so for now i am create uh, i have opened that new uh, excel sheet and just click on uh, the first cell okay and so this is the active spreadsheet of our system so after that just minimize this screen and just click on start transfer so once you click on start transfer it will st uh, start the transfer and in few minutes or few seconds it will uh, 
pop up this screen so as as per the data uh, if there is a uh, there are multiple rows in our uh, physical file then it will take some time otherwise it will uh, transfer the data very quickly so here we can see that the rows transferred is five so just click here then go again to the excel sheet and just refresh this screen so here we can see that the data is here so in this way we can directly download the data from the ibmi system so as i told you if you want any particular uh, data from the uh, physical file then you can specify your data in he here in the query okay so suppose if you want to select the all fields of the physical file then you can uh, put asterisk here as well so once you put asterisk then it means it will fetch out all the fields and the records from the physical file so yeah so this is the way or method through which we can directly download the data from the physical file to our excel spreadsheet in the upcoming session we will see the reverse process and we will see how we can upload the data from excel sheet to our ibmi system so yeah that's all for this session thank you for watching tech Shirmat.